morning all of you how are you all i hope you all are fine in previous video we have done sexual reproduction types of reproduction oviparous and viviparous animals before going to start our today's lecture what we are going to do we will do a quick revision what we have learned in our previous video so let us start with the sexual reproduction what do you mean by sexual reproduction in which you require male and female and when they will when they will involve they will form a newborn baby this is called your sexual reproduction and if we are talking about types of reproduction there are two types of reproduction one is a external reproduction and one is a internal reproduction what do you mean by external reproduction in which in which egg fertilize outside the female body they don't require female uh, they, they don't fertilize inside the uh, female body and in internal reproduction they fertilize inside the female body is this clear and if we are talking about oviparous animals so oviparous animals are those animals which lay eggs what they do they lay eggs and viviparous animals they produce a newborn baby they don't lay eggs is this clear with this we have done our revision part so let us start with the today's lecture the topics which we are going to cover in this video are reproduction in human reproduction in humans now reproduction in humans the sub topics are first we will do male reproductive system after that we will do female reproductive system so basically the topics which we are going to cover in this video are male reproductive system and female reproductive system is this clear so let us start with the male reproductive system clear let us start with the male reproductive system this is the diagram of male reproductive system this is the diagram of male reproductive system see this is your testicles this is your testicles this is your testicles this is your penis this is your penis this is your testicle this is your penis this is your bladder this one is this one is prostate seminal vesicles and vas deferens is this clear this is the diagram of your male reproductive system this is very important clear in the uh, as the point of view examination so i'm reading once more and um, this is your penis this is the testicles this is your bladder this is your prostate this one is small part is your seminal vesicles and this pipe is your vas deferens is this clear so now what we will do we will do one by one all the parts so the main male sexual organs are the what are the main sexual uh, male sex organs that is penis and your testes is this clear what are the main sex organs the male main sex organs are penis and the testes what they will do they will produce what they will do they will produce semen and sperms what they will do they will produce your sp um, sperms and semen is this clear is this clear so what is your male main male sex organs the male main sex organs are penis and testes what they produce they produce semen and sperms is this clear now how they work next question is how they work so the penis is a male completory organ is this clear it has a long shaft and enlarged bubbles shaped tip called the glans penis which sports the foreskin the penis is a male completory organ it has a long shaft and enlarged bubbles shaped tip called the glans penis 
which supports the foreskin. It is a muscular organ. It is a muscular organ which injects sperm into the body of the female. So, if I will ask you what is the work of penis, so the work of penis is it inject. What they inject? They inject sperm. What they inject? They inject sperm to the female body. Is this clear? I am reading this slide once more. The main male sex organs are the penis and the testes, which produce semen and the sperm. The penis is the male complementary organ. It has a long shaft and enlarged verbals shaped tip called the gland penis, which supports the foreskin. It is a muscular organ which injects sperms into the body of the female. Is this clear? Now, it consists of pair of testes. What they consist? It consists of pair of testes. See here. Two pairs of testes are you able to see? These are the testes. So, there are two testes. That means pair of testes. One pair consists two testes. Is this clear? Now, it consists of pair of testes which are enclosed in scrotal sac. Clear? And these scrotal sac sac are called scrotum. And it is outside the body. Is this clear? It also contains numerous nerve and blood vessels. It also contains numerous blood nerves and blood vessels. The scrotum remains connected with the abdominum and pelvic cavity by the incunial canal. The testes produce millions of sperm. Basically, uh, if I will talk about your uh, part of male reproductive system, what they consist? They consist of pair of testes which includes, which are enclosed by scrotal sac, which are enclosed by your scrotal sac, and it is present outside the body. It is present outside the body, and it is also contains numerous nerves and blood vessels. It also contains numerous nerves and blood vessels. The scrotum remains connected with the abdomen. Abdomen. The meaning of abdomen is your lower part of the body. Is this clear? And it produces what they produce? They produce millions of sperm. Is this clear? Now. Vast difference is also known as your sperm duct. It is also known as your sperm duct. Arises from each testes. Now, they carry sperms from the testes. What they carry? They carry sperms. From where? From the testes to the penis. Now, the two sperm duct open into the urethra and pass through the penis. Is this clear? What they do? They... Um, they carry sperm from the testes to the penis. Clear? The two sperm ducts open into the urethra and pass through the penis. Is this clear? This is the female body part of the urethra. Okay, we will do now. Next, uh, uh, next slide maybe. Is this clear? So, these all are, this is the uh, structure of your male reproductive system and how they work. I think with this, everything is clear to you. Now, now I told you that your male reproductive penis, what penis produce? Penis produce sperm. Now, we will do structure of the sperm. How sperm look like? Is this clear? We will do how sperm look like. So, let us start with the structure of the sperm. Sperm look like this. Sperm look like this. Is this clear? So, our sperm is a single cell. Your sperm is a single cell and it has a three parts. It has a three parts. Number one, a head with a nucleus, a middle piece and a long tail. Basically, your sperm is a single cell. Your sperm is a single cell and if we are talking about your sperm body, uh, sperm part, so it has divided into three parts. It has divided into three parts. Number one, a head with a nucleus. Second one is a middle piece. And the third one is a long tail. A third one is a long tail. 
the tail helps the sperm to move and reach the egg cell what the tail helps the sperm to move to move and reach the egg cell is this clear a sperm is a single cell it has a three parts a head with a nucleus see this head it is with a nucleus is this clear now middle piece in middle piece what they come microondia spiral shape and neck and your tail it contains a plasma membrane this is the structure of your sperm this is the structure of your sperm so the tail helps the sperm to move and reach the egg cell what the uh, what is a working of the tail the working of the tail is it helps it helps the sperm to move and reach the egg cell is this clear to you now next topic is female reproductive system this is the diagram of your female reproductive system this is the diagram of your female reproductive system this is your fallopian tube this is your fallopian tube this is your ovary this is your uterus this this part is your uterus this is your cervix and this black part is your vagina is this clear to you um see this is this one is your fallopian tubes this part is your cervix and this is your uterus and this small small egg is your ovary and this part is your vagina is this clear so this is a male reproductive system please draw both the diagram like male reproductive system and female reproductive system in your notebook is this clear now female reproductive system the human female reproductive system contains two main organs like uterus and ovaries clear is this clear the human female reproductive system contains two main organs number one uterus and ovaries now a pair of ovaries is a sing ovaries because it, in it is a two if you will call a single it is called as a ovary clear the pair of ovary ovaries that produce eggs or ova ova means a plural form of ovum ova is a plural form of ovum so a pair of ovaries that produce eggs or ova is this clear a single egg is produced by one of the ovaries each month what they will produce they will produce a single egg okay each month and this this whole process is called as your evolution is this clear is this clear to you what a pair of ovaries that produce what is the work of ovaries they produce egg okay they produce egg a single egg is produced by a single egg is produced by every month okay and this whole process is known as your evolution this whole process is known as your evolution is this clear to you now a pair of oviduct or fallopian tubes your fallopian tubes is also known as your oviducts is this clear to you your fallopian tubes is also known as your oviducts now these are joins the ovaries with the uterus what your ovary ducts joins your ovaries with the uterus see your fallopian tubes it's joining your ovary his hair ovary with the uterus see here clear so if we are talking about the function of ovary ducts so ovary ducts joins your ovaries with the uterus so the ovary ducts carry the egg from the ovary the uterus is this clear to you now a uterus or worm is a muscular pear shaped bag basically your uterus is a pear shaped muscular pear shaped bag which development a fertilized egg okay which development of fertilized egg basically where your new born baby take place okay uh, and fetus take places yeah we basically a fetus okay whole the process when your baby is inside your uh, female body 
all the development take place of that uh, fetus inside your womb okay now the lower part of the uterus is called your cervix is this clear see i am reading once more a pair of ovary duct or fallopian tubes join the ovaries with the uterus clear the ovary ducts carry the egg from the ovary of the uterus now your uterus is a what is your uterus your uterus is a muscular shaped bag okay in which development of fetus take place and fetus is what until your baby come outside to the female body your bob, newborn baby is known as uh, your baby inside the female body that baby is called as your fetus is this clear now the lower part of the uterus is called as your cervix the vagina is attached to the uterus through the cervix uterus hosts the developing fetus produce vaginal and urine uterine secretion and passes male sperm it to the fallopian tubes is this clear to you now vagina is a muscular tube into which uterus open basically your vagina is what it is a muscular tube when it is open okay and it allows to penis it allows to sp pass sperm okay it allows to receive sperm to the penis and yes send it to the uterus and the vagina receive the penis through which sperms are discharged into it is this clear the vagina is attached to the uterus through the cervix uterus holds the developing fetus produces vaginal and uterine secretion and passes the male sperm through it to the fallopian tubes vagina is a muscular tube into which the uterus open the vagina receives a penis through which sperms are discharged into it now is this i think with this female reproductive system is very clear to you now structure of an egg structure of an egg we know that ki uh, female reproductive system produce one egg day uh, every month so the egg is single cell and it is spherical in shape it is like this clear your egg is in single cell and it is spherical in shape it contains nutrients that provide nutrition to the developing embryo until it starts receiving nutrition from the mother to the placenta that means it gives you it gives all the nutrition to the uh, baby when, when it is present inside the mother clear until it receive nutrition from the mother body this is the structure of an egg with this re reproduction in human is finished i think male reproductive system is very clear to you and female reproductive system is very clear to you please draw all these diagram to your fair notebook clear because it is very important from the point of examination is this clear thank you and sairam